If you're in the market for the best fly fishing sunglasses you can get, stick around because I have some great recommendations. Hello and welcome on my glass, Tyler. Today we're going to be talking about our top picks for fly fishing sunglasses. All of these guys, of course, are gonna feature ample coverage, good wrap design. They all need a polarized lens. If you're fishing, you should know that. That's just like 101. Polarized lenses are super important. Really and truly, when we're talking about fly fishing sunglasses, if you find a great pair of sunglasses for fishing, it's gonna be great for fly fishing. What's important is the lenses and the lens color. And so that's what I'm gonna be talking about specifically and calling out in these different frames that are all great for fishing of any type, but the lenses specifically I'll call out that are ideal for fly fishing. All of these are also very lightweight so that you can wear them all day long and they don't bother you at all. You are gonna find nylon materials, tier 90, O matter, we'll get into that as well. The other cool thing about them is they are all prescription ready. They're all RXable, which is amazing. Very important to me, obviously. I'm an optician, 15 plus years. I work at Sport RX because we deal with prescriptions. We like helping people see, and prescription is important to us, and these all are prescription ready, so that's pretty cool. If at the end of this you're ready to order, don't forget about Sport RX, and definitely don't forget about our Sea Better Guarantee, because with that, you're never stuck with something you don't like or just doesn't work for you. You actually have as long as 45 days with them to figure that out. We just want you to be happy, we'll take care of you. All right, let's get into these frames. First up, we have an Oakley. This is the Split Shot. Actually, their first and still, well, maybe not first like in history, but currently it is the one that is water specific. They are aiming this for fishing specifically. It's an amazing frame. It's been around for a few seasons, really, really solid. You get a lot of performance features in this guy and I love it. Huge lens, a little bit of side shield designed into this. One of my favorite things about it is the nose bridge design, this nose pad. Uh, it is kind of a an update and a better version of their MNP or modular nose pad, which was designed to be a good fit for every nose bridge shape and size. This is actually made out of their unobtainium though. It's a grip material that gets tackier and grips better even as you sweat. Really solid, but this saddle style bridge design is amazing, both for comfort and for grip. For comfort, it helps to disperse the weight of the frame more evenly across your bridge but also for grip because there's more contact surface area then it's going to grip even better very very comfortable and I love it they do not have any grip uh, or unobtainium on the temples however you do get this leash that comes along with it which is a metal wire and it locks very simply but also very securely in the temple tip here really solid design there they are also designed to be more hat compatible thanks to this more curved brow line and a sleeker temple tip. The lens that I recommend for this, of course, is Prism and specifically Prism Shallow Water. A caveat here, I mentioned that all of these can be made in prescription. It's very important to us. Prism Shallow Water is my go-to recommendation for fly fishing in terms of lenses. It's not available in prescription, unfortunately, as of yet. I've been saying that for years. I don't know when it's gonna ever happen. Hopefully it will, but so far, no luck. But an amazing lens for fly fishing. Definitely check that one out. When it comes to sizing, the split shot has an SFW of 131 millimeters. A little bit uh, surprisingly smaller than you would expect by how large this guy looks. The sizing that that lands you at is a men's medium or a women's medium to large. And next up, we have a Maui Jim. This is a Kanayo Coast, a solid frame coming out of Maui Jim. Maui Jim is amazing. They make really, really top shelf sunglasses all day long. Uh, this is particularly good for fishing in general because of all of the grip. They have grip uh, embedded in the temple tips and the ends of the temple tips and a textured grip in the nose bridge, which is going to help to directionalize moisture if it gets wet to keep you drier and for it to grip even better. Obviously, their frames are really, really good quality, great build. They do have a spring hinge here with which typically I'm a little bit hesitant to recommend, but Maui does everything right. They don't skip any steps and it is a pretty solid design here. The lenses again are what is important here and Maui's lens tech is, 
it, it speaks for itself. It's amazing. If you've ever put on a pair of Mauis, you know what I'm talking about. The lens I recommend is their HCL Bronze. It's a little bit darker of a tint, but amazing at boosting contrast and making it easier to spot and track fish. I also would recommend, if you can get it, the Maui Brilliant Lens Material, which is amazing. Very easy to select in prescription. Uh, a little bit tougher to pin down in non-prescription, but if you have questions, you can always reach out to our opticians and we will help you out. Their Polarized Plus 2 lens technology, again, speaks for itself. It is incredible. You should check these out. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 132 millimeters. So again, a men's medium or a women's medium to large. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about fishing sunglasses or perhaps you have prescription needs, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly and knowledgeable Sporter X opticians because they're eagerly awaiting your call. For even more fishing frame reviews, unboxings, prescription fishing content, you can check out our videos and our blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. Next up, we have a personal favorite of mine, the Blackfin Pro. I really like their Pro Series. Costa is doing some good work. And I mean, we can't be talking about fishing without talking about Costa. Their 580 lens tech is incredible. And of course, all polarized. You get that higher definition, really sharp contrast. The wraparound design on this is incredible. You have a really thick really built inside shield design here as well as that wrapped curvature the lens wrapped so you're going to get all of the visibility that you need as well as all of the protection this also has keeper holes to keep these on your face even more securely but you do have grip here you have grip in the nose and you have grip in the temple all throughout the thing that i love about their nose bridge design in the pro series is that it's adjustable. Very uncommon to find plastic frames with an adjustable nose pad, but you got that here. It's also vented. It's also a textured grip design, which will help to directionalize moisture. Uh, another thing that I'm gonna talk about here in just a moment, uh, but really performance forward this whole Pro Series, especially here in the Blackfin Pro. You also get sweat channels in this, in the temple, which is again going to help directionalize that moisture, keeping it off your head, keeping you dry, keeping you cool. Another thing you get with the nose bridge, which is a little bit less obvious, is actually control over fogging because you can pinch the nose pads together, push it a little farther away from your face to make fogging less of an issue. Of course, also, it is going to give you a more custom fit, comfortable fit on your bridge if you mess with it and you tweak it to fit your bridge specifically. However, that fog fighting element is a really cool addition to their design here with that sweat channel, with the keeper slots, with all of the hydrolyte grip everywhere on this frame. You don't have to worry about these falling off your face at all. The lens I recommend here is the green mirror. The green mirror is amazing again at boosting contrast, giving you a warm visual experience across the board, making it easier to spot and track the fish. It is a little bit darker. If you want something a little bit lighter, stick around for the next frame, or you can get that same lens that I'm gonna talk about here in this frame. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 135 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium or a women's large. Next up, we have the Costa Diego, another performance features packed frame. With that 580 tech, you know you're in good hands. You have sweat channels in this. Again, you have textured temple tips, which are very flexible, especially right at the ends. You have those keeper slots. You have vented nose bridge with grip. However, it is not adjustable. Still an awesome frame. You do have those built-in side shields, which are amazing. You have a gigantic lens. You also have a built-in spring hinge. Maybe not quite as springy as you would expect from a typical spring hinge, but it is designed without any spring. So this is a lot more durable and really the best way to go for a spring hinge design in a more sport frame like this. You also get a unique ventilation design system here in this frame, which again is going to help minimize fogging along with all of the moisture directionalizing wicking designs here. That ventilation is gonna help minimize moisture buildup, which is what fogging is as well. You also get that brow line design here, which makes it more hat compatible and a little more lower profile temple design makes it more hat compatible as well. 
when it comes to the lenses that I recommend, this is the lighter lens, which is, well, actually not this one. I didn't get the right frame, but this, the Sunrise Silver Mirror Lens is the one that I recommend for letting more light through and still boosting all of that contrast and make it easier to spot and track the fish. I love that Sunrise Silver Mirror. It is very unique with how much light it lets through with still being 100% polarized, so amazing lens for if you're fishing, fly fishing under tree cover or any kind of cloudy conditions, it's amazing. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 138 millimeters, which lands you in the men's large range or a women's large to extra large. And last but certainly not least, we have the Canaan Arcata. We don't, we don't talk about Canaan too terribly often. They're a really cool brand, actually local to us here in Southern California. And this is a great frame from them that is amazing in sport applications. It is a huge lens. You have grip in the temple, grip in the nose, and you have a nose pad design here that's a little bit modular and it's designed to cater to a wider range of nose pad shapes and sizes. So you actually get a little piece in this nose bridge that is removable and when removed, you actually reveal a little bit of venting. I'll say it depends on your bridge shape and design how much it can actually vent because if it's resting neatly on your nose, then you're blocking those vents, but it's still there and that's part of the design, that's the intent. Uh, and so that's a cool little design note, design detail to be aware of. There are also vented temple tips, which will again help to directionalize moisture. You kind of get a, an inherent design here with the that that's similar to that sweat channel. Directionalizing moisture means less potential for fogging. When it comes to lenses, if you want a darker lens, I recommend their Ultra Green Mirror. Their Ultra is the name of their tint technology that's more color enhancing, a little more color boosting, and the Ultra Green is great, but it is a darker lens. If you're looking for a lighter lens, they actually have a really unique lineup of lens colors. The ones that I like specifically for fly fishing would be C28. That is a copper lens color and 28% is the amount of light that it lets through. With your typical lens, like the ultra green being around that 12%, you get a lot more light through. So again, a great lens for if you're fishing under tree cover, tree shroud, or anything that's blocking the sun, even just clouds. It rhymed a little bit, that was fun. Ideal for shallow water, obviously, really good lens. Along with a really large lens, you also get a built-in side shield here, so tons of coverage, tons of protection. Their frame material they, is a TR90 Gorilla Mid, which is super flexible, very lightweight, and extremely durable. Not super flexible, actually, now that I say that. It can be, depending on how it's designed. This is a little more rigid for more durability. Uh, their lens material is SR91, which is glass-like clarity. Gives you more sharp colors, gives you better detail to enjoy your surroundings without that blinding glare. When it comes to sizing, this is an SFW of 138 millimeters, which lands you in a men's large or a women's large to extra large. So that wraps up our top picks for fly fishing. Again, really the lenses are what's important, but as you can tell, you can definitely find some frames that are very well packed with performance features. Hopefully now you have a new strong contender. If you are liking one of these frames, stick around for a moment longer. We'll have an easy to click shop now button. And again, if you're ready to order, don't forget about that Seabitter guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And for peak peace of mind, like the most peace of mind, reach out to our opticians because our whole goal in life is to get you set up for the right pair that you love. All we want is for you to be happy. And so let us do that. Reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. If you are liking any of these styles, you can click this button right here to take you right to them. If you're looking for more content to consume, as we all are these days, check out the bottom of that bar. Those are all of our ads. You can find us on pretty much all of the social media outlets, and there's good stuff there, so you should check us out.